Your iPad may contain a wealth of your personal information and memories. That may include apps, movies, emails, TV shows and music. So it's important that you back up your iPad to your Mac. So in this video I'm going to show you the top three ways to back up your iPad to your Mac. The first way is to back up your iPad to your Mac using iTunes. Connect your iPad to your Mac and iTunes will open up automatically. You need to select your iPad which you do at the top here which will open up the summary pane. The summary window will give you the option of backing up your iPad with iCloud or your computer automatically. So you select this computer and then click Backup Now. If you don't transfer purchases, you can always retrieve them from your iTunes account from the Purchase tab. You can check the progress at the top. It's going through a four-step process, backing up your data and syncing it. Once it's completed its backup, you can see the date and time of your latest backup. In the middle section, you can also go to iTunes Preferences Devices to see the last time your, I your iPad was backed up. You can also back up your iPad wirelessly if you select Sync with this iPad over Wi-Fi. And then on your iPad, go to Settings, General, iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. You can sync by tapping sync now. I can back up and sync my iPad without being connected to my computer. As long as I'm in range for my wireless network. And that also gives you the last time that your device was backed up and to which computer. You can also back up your iPad to your Mac using iCloud. And you can do this in a couple of ways. Firstly, within iTunes, you can select iCloud to automatically back up your iPad. And then if you want to still retain some sort of backup to iTunes, you would then select the manually backup and restore. The advantage of the other way, selecting this computer, is that when you connect your iPad to your computer, iTunes automatically starts the syncing process, the syncing and backup process. Changing it to iCloud, iCloud will do that automatically. You can also do it from within your iPad, going to Settings, iCloud, and Backup, and turn it on, and start the backup. This will back up all your data, photos, settings and documents from your iPad to the iCloud. The problem with backing up to iCloud is that it doesn't cover music and apps that you've purchased. For apps, you can download them again through iCloud. So when you go into the App Store and Purchased, you can download any apps that you purchased through the App Store. The same can be done with music, TV shows and video that have been purchased through the App Store or the iTunes Store. So in the iTunes Store, there's a Purchase tab where you can download any music, movies or TV shows that you've purchased through the iTunes Store. The process becomes complicated, however, if you want to back up music that you haven't purchased from iTunes music that you've obtained from another source or you've ripped from your CDs. In this case, you need a third-party software. And one example of that is Wondershare's Tunes Go Retro for the Mac. This program will allow you to easily transfer music, playlists, videos, photos, a whole range of media from your iPad to a location on your Mac effectively creating a backup without the need for iTunes and it will also copy music from your Mac back to iTunes. Now if you want to select specific pieces of media then you use the tabs along the left. So photos, over 2000 photos on the iPhone. Uh, I could export all of those by selecting all and export and selecting what location on my Mac I'd like that to go. So I put it into pictures and then save and that will export all the images. Or you could select 
individual images. Using the command key, you can select individual images and do the same thing, export or export a photo album or create a new album. And you can do the same with TV shows and movies and Wondershare's Tunes Go Retro is also available for Windows PC. You just need to download the Windows version. So in this video, we looked at the top three ways to backup data on your Mac from an iPad or iPhone.